your Humphrey Matrix 800 ships with a chin rest, keyboard tray, and printer. Because of its lightweight and small size, your Humphrey Matrix 800 can be set up virtually anywhere in your office. Once you've chosen the location, prepare the instrument for use by connecting all of the components. Lay the instrument on its side, being careful that the patient visor isn't in a position that will cause it to support the weight of the machine. Plug the patient response button into the small round connector jack next to the patient response button symbol underneath the center of the instrument. Now, insert the keyboard plug into the USB port as shown. Next, plug the printer cable into the USB port next to the network port as shown. After this step, plug the printer power cord into the Humphrey Matrix power output receptacle. To meet medical safety requirements, the supply printer must be powered from the instrument. Finally, plug the approved hospital grade power cord into the input receptacle on the instrument. Be sure all connections are fully seated. Once everything is connected properly, turn the instrument upright. Now it is time to assemble the chin rest with the keyboard tray, which will serve as the base of the instrument. Simply unpack the chin rest and follow these instructions. Snap the keyboard tray gently into the dark gray base. Lay the keyboard tray flat. Sweep the attached cords to the right side of the instrument, which is the side with the on-off switch. Then gently lift the instrument off its side and place it carefully into the base. Now, connect the printer cable into the USB port on the printer and connect the printer power cord. Affix the patient response button holder to the right patient side of the unit by peeling the tape off the holder and firmly pressing the holder in the desired position. Before plugging the unit into an appropriate power outlet, make sure that the power switch located on the left operator side of the instrument is in the O or OFF position. Now, plug the unit in and turn the power switch to the I or ON position. The system will boot up in about two minutes. A status bar will indicate progress of the instrument initialization.